Welcome back to The Jump. It's time for BS or Real Talk, a game where you give quotes and you tell us how you think they are. With emojis, of course. I'm George Sedano in for Rachel Nichols with Ramona Shelburne and Dave McMiniman. Let's start this game with Kyle Kuzma. Kuzma spoke to Kerry Champion at the Call of Duty Modern Warfare multiplayer reveal in L.A. Here's what he said about donning the purple and gold. Let's take a listen. As a young player, how difficult is it playing in Los Angeles for the Lakers? It's a different mentality I, I believe you have to have if yeah. you're going to stay here and thrive. No, for sure. You know, not everybody is, can be cut out to be a Laker. You know, it's it's a little bit, you know, harder than any other team because of all the scrutiny and, you know, being a Laker. So Kuzma says that not everyone's cut out to be a Laker. Is that BS or real talk? Ready, set, go. Look at that. Dave, you go. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, not everyone's cut out to be a Laker. Not everyone's cut out to be LeBron James' teammate. Right. Uh, there are – it's extra. There's stuff that comes with it that on – the extra on the good side is that, you know, Kyle Kuzma is a sponsor of the GOAT app, you know, and, and get you get you get to do <laughs> – do that. <laughs> no, you get to do certain off-court endorsement opportunities yeah. that, that come up. Right. The, the downside is that, you know, you could be playing as a second-year player – in somewhere in the middle of the country and you're not being talked about on national television every day and all your moves picked apart and scrutinized. Right. I think in Kyle's case, I got to know him last year, he embraces it all because he's like, I never expected to be here in the first place. Right. So why uh, look that opportunity and, and, and be afraid of it? Like, he sounds a lot like Kobe Bryant, and I know they have a relationship, and they've, they've formed a relationship since Kyle's been in L.A., but what did Kobe ever say when, when we would ask, like, who wants to play with Kobe, and there's a, why aren't they getting those type of free agents? He's like, not everybody's cut out to be a Laker. Not everybody's cut out to be the, the standard bearer for a franchise that has won 16 titles and is in the media capital of the world. Yeah, I think that there are certain teams in sports that are like that. The Lakers yeah, are clearly one of the Yankees, Yankees right? Yeah. The Dallas Cowboys, yeah. right? Like, you play for those teams. You're expecting not only the pressure of winning, mm -hmm. but the inherent pressure that just surrounds being in that bubble and that sphere, so. Look, I'll tell you who is cut out to be a Laker. Who's that? Jared Dudley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna, that spotlight. He's trying to take our jobs. What are you day? talking about? Yeah, that's what he's trying to do. Yeah, I love it to be an ESPN or an There's that's no right. doubt about that. All right, next. Klay Thompson suffered a torn ACL in game six of the finals. But despite the injury and the finals loss, of course, Kevin Durant bolting for Brooklyn, Klay believes the Warriors' dynasty is alive and well. Let's take a listen. Uh, to say the dynasty is over, I think, is a little ignorant because I think I'm going to come back 110%. I think I'm going to come back even better and more athletic. And I would just not, it would not be smart to count the dubs out. That's all I'll tell people, especially with, you know, the chemistry we still have and our foundation still being there. I think we have an ability to continue this run. And I still think we have five great years ahead of us, maybe even longer. So I would not count us out, not this year, the next year, or after that. All right, Clay saying that the Warriors dynasty has five great years ahead of it. BS or real talk? Ready, set, go. Oh, see, Whoa. five is a lot. Well, okay, I went real talk because I do think they're going to have a down year based on their standards the last five years. They're not going to make the finals in my estimation next year. Right, which I think they could, which is funny that I went BS yeah, sure. and you went real talk. But after that, yeah. you still have a, a core mm -hmm. in place that is professional, has a ton of talent, and has something to prove. Uh, they're going to have another deep postseason run, if not several more over this next era. It's going to be a great time because they're going to, one, either rise again to the top and feel better than they've ever felt before, or they're just going to live their life as NBA players right. in the Bay right. and look back at what they accomplished already. So it's going to be great either way. I still think they're going to be a good team for five years. Are they going to win championships? Are they going to be part of a dynasty? I don't know. but Well, I, dynasty is what he said for five more years. Yeah, he said we're going to have five more great years. So yeah. I think they have five. And I do I believe Clay thinks that? Absolutely. Sure, Clay absolutely Clay thinks that. Clay swag has yeah. been pretty high for the last couple of years here. And I think Clay comes back February, March. And I, I'm a little more bullish on the Warriors than you are, Dave. But yeah. I think they just come right back and they're in the playoffs. They're maybe finish in the middle of the pack in the Western Conference. But... Yeah, Dave Davis scoffed at me yesterday when I said that I think I give him a puncher's chance to win the title if Clay comes back healthy. Um, Ramona said that. Me as too. Well, so yeah. There you go. So, uh, oh, so we're on the same side. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but but here's the thing: five years is a long time. 
we can't plan five years ahead for anything anymore in the NBA. Um, and, you know, guys are 30-plus, right? Um, guys are going to get older in this league. Mm -hmm. Younger teams come. We didn't see the Warriors coming, That's and someone could come is all I'm saying. So I just think five years is just a little too long. Three, maybe even four, but five is just where I drew the line. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.